anything. So we're gonna do some seated poses today, y'all. That was a request. Kanti said seated twists. Anything else? Okay. All right. So we'll just settle a little bit. And I think I will actually make my way to my mat. Kind of an odd setup today. That's okay. <laughs> I think I am going to plug this heater in if that's all right with you, Conti. Because it, fall is here, y'all. Fall is here in the Pacific Northwest. It is here. Mm. Okay. So here we are in our seat. We'll allow ourselves to rock a little bit forward, back, side to side, if that feels good, just to feel into our bodies. Take a few deeper breaths. And just notice where our energy is today. And I always find it fascinating, I guess, just more awareness as I've been older, how my energy reflects the weather. So yesterday I felt awake, lots of energy. And today I feel like I want to nap. And um, just how we are plants, really. <laughs> We're plants. We need sunlight. We need water and uh, fresh and clean air. And right now in our lives, we have the privilege of having those things be mostly true. Can we really feel into how we can support the environment in a way that allows sunlight, clean air, fresh, clear water to drink, and a bountiful earth for the future generations. And one of the things I like to think about when I think about reconciling how crazy the world is, how precious the earth is, and yet we have to drive and all these things, and I don't know what to do, is coming back to the knowledge that honestly, just settling our nervous systems and allowing ourselves to slow down enough to feel and hold the complexity of the situation of climate change, of equity and justice, the more settled we are, the more we can align ourselves to our place within the movement for the causes that we really believe in and want to make a difference for future generations. So again and again and again, it comes back to how you showing up. Are you settled? Are you overwhelmed? Are you in fight or flight? Or can you be fully present without having to have an answer to be in the discomfort of that which we do not know the answer to? And yoga can help us here. So we'll take just a few more moments to regulate our breath in a way, <clears throat> inhaling to the count of four, pause, exhale to the count of four, pause. So the pause can just be one count, or we could get it up to four counts, known as square breath. Inhale four, pause four, exhale four, pause four. See if that works for you. If not, pause for just as long as it doesn't bring any stress or strain. We'll do that for the next few moments.
just notice if breathing in this way has had any effect at all. <clears throat> Maybe brought you more present to your body, to your breath. Maybe not, just notice. I'm gonna bring our palms to our heart. One ohm to start. Um. Inhale, let's reach our arms out and up. On the exhale, we'll twist to our left, twist to our left, and we'll sit up nice and tall. On the inhale, you might even grow your spine a little bit taller. On the exhale, draw your belly in and up. On your next inhale, come back to center. Twist to the right, exhale. On the inhale, sit up nice and tall. On the exhale, draw the belly lightly in and up. Inhale back to center. We'll straighten our left leg out front and have our right heel come in toward the groin. And here, you might sit on your bolster. You might have blocks on the side of your leg or pillows so that you can just rest down on your forearms, perhaps, keeping your heart moving towards your toe. So actively flexing the foot back and keeping the heart moving toward the toe, Janu Shirshasana. Yeah, and Kandi has a great idea too, maybe placing a block underneath the right knee And can we take about five breaths here where we're active and we're lifting up and bringing the heart forward, flexing the toes up. And then we'll start to bow our head, maybe creating a pillow. Five more breaths in the hamstrings, maybe the calf. I feel hamstring. Notice what you feel. We'll slowly come up and switch sides. So starting perhaps up higher, maybe you have blocks for your palms or your forearms bringing the heart forward and really flexing that right foot back. So instead of going toward your shin, imagine your heart moving toward your big toe. And then maybe bowing the head, <clears throat> creating a pillow. And coming all the way up. Both legs extend out front. Hands might rest on blocks on either side of your shins, or maybe you grab your big toes, draw the heart forward. And stay about halfway up. And then see if you can reach your feet, reach for your pinky toe edge side, Draw them back and allow the head to hang. And 
And we'll slowly come up. Keep your right leg extended, cross your left foot over and we'll twist to the left. As you come back to center, allow that knee to open like a figure four. Mm -hmm. Hard flex both of your feet and start to come forward toward the right foot. Come back up, take your left palm to your left foot. Right hand walks behind you, sit up nice and tall. And twisting to the right, draw the belly in. Feel the openness, the room for the belly here. And come back to center. Bend that right knee so it's a seated pigeon or a seated thread the needle. So the more the right knee is bent, the more you might feel this. You can reach between your hands or you can hold on to that left leg. Draw the heart forward. Draw the heart forward. Think perhaps your belly might go toward your calf. And then we'll release our feet. Left leg straightens out, right foot crosses over. We're twisting to the right, drawing the belly in and up. Keep sitting taller on the inhale and gathering the belly on the exhale. And come back to center. Allow that leg to open like a figure four. Flex your feet, reach toward the left foot with one or both hands. Lengthen the heart toward the toes and bow the head. We'll come back up and twist to the left. So right palm and right sole of foot, pushing against that to twist to the left. Coming back to center and then bending that left knee the foot might come flat, so it's like thread the needle or a figure four seated. Imagine your heart's moving forward. You might just hold on to this right leg or reach around for the left knee or between the legs for the left thigh. Great, and then we'll release and we're bringing the soles of our feet together, sitting up nice and tall. And legs can move away from you if they need to further. Yeah. Coming forward, walking the hands forward toward the top of the mat, real flat back, almost cow. Bring the heart forward, inhale, and then bow whatever that looks like for your body.
And coming back up, we're gonna make our way on the hands and knees. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Inhale, cat, exhale, cow. Down dog when you're ready. Walk or hop to your hands. Halfway lift in here. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Mountain pose. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Hold forward. Rise up. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale. Hold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walker hop to the top. Halfway lift. Hold forward, rise up, mountain pose, arms up, inhale, fold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walk or hop. Halfway lift. Hold forward. Rise up. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale, fold forward. Long spine, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, down dog. Walk or hop to the top. 
halfway lift. Hold forward. Rise up. Mountain pose. Chair pose. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, hold forward, chair pose, mountain, chair pose, hold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog, left foot forward, warrior one, Breathe in, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog, right foot, warrior one, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog. Walk or hop, halfway lift in hand, hold forward, chair pose, mountain, two more this way, chair pose, hold forward, halfway lift, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Down dog, right foot, warrior one. Breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Cobra, up dog. Down dog, left foot, warrior one. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, down dog, five breaths. Walk or hop, halfway lift, fold forward. Chair pose, stand up mountain. Last time, Surya Namaskar B, chair pose. Hold forward, halfway lift in hand. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, left foot, warrior one. Chaturanga, exhale. Meaning in down dog and then right foot warrior one. Cha 
अरे बंगा Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Hold forward. Chair pose. And stand on up, right knee lifts, right leg flies back airplane, open half moon, warrior number two, inhale exalted warrior, exhale side angle, Twice more, inhale exalted, exhale side angle. Last one. Half bind reaching behind your back with that right hand pause, stay here. Gaze up, make sure that left knee is bent right over the ankle. Draw your belly in, get the twist in the torso. Release that half bind, reach your arm forward. Big circle all the way down to the floor, side plank on the right. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog. Walk or hop to the top, halfway lift, fold forward. Chair pose. Mountain, come up with your left knee. Airplane. Open half moon. Warrior two. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, exalted. Exhale, side angle. One more. Side angle, stay. Half bind, spin the heart up. Draw the belly in. Pause. Extend that left hand all the way to the floor side, plank on the left. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog or rest a different way. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Hold forward. Chair pose. Rise up with your right knee. Airplane. Half moon. Warrior two. Inhale exalted. Exhale, side angle, half bind or full bind. Pause, 
Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Release the mind, reach your right arm long by your ear, all the way circle sweep to the floor, side plank on the right. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Hold forward. Chair pose. Rise up with the left knee. Airplane. Half moon. Warrior two. Inhale, exalted. Side angle. Half bind or full bind. Pause. Stack your shoulders, stack your hips, draw your belly in, feel your root. Release the bind, extend the left arm long by the ear, all the way circle sweep to the floor, side plank on the left. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Rested any way that feels right to you, five breaths. Walker, hop to the top, halfway lift, fold forward, chair pose. Rise up with the right knee, now listen. Open to the right, tree. Lift the right knee up, fly it back, open half moon, warrior two, exalted warrior, side angle half or full bind, bird of paradise option with the half or the full bind. Placing that left foot down. If you've come to bird, you might keep your half or full bind. A moment of a bound half moon. We'll land back. Release your hand side angle. Breathe in. Reach that right arm forward side plank on the right. Plank, Chaturanga, Cobra or Up Dog, Downward Facing Dog. Walk or hop to the top, halfway lift, hold forward. Chair pose. Left knee lifts, opens, tree. Lift the left knee, fly back, airplane to half moon.
Warrior two. Inhale, exalted. Side angle, half or full bind or half bound or full bound bird of paradise. Place that right foot down. If you're in bird, there might be a second of a half or full bound half moon. And then we'll all land back side angle, releasing the bind, reaching the left arm alongside the ear. And then side plank on the left. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Rest your way, five breaths. Walker, hop to the top. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Chair pose. Come up with the right knee. Open the right knee. Tree. Right hand to right thigh. Left arm reaches to the right. Center, right knee up, airplane, half moon, pause five breaths, maybe sugar cane, bending the right knee, reaching back with one or both hands. We're coming to revolved half moon. Right hand might be on a block. Right leg lifts to hip height as much as possible. Left arm lifts up. Or you could bend the right knee and reach back with your left hand or the right foot. Release, we're gonna place that right foot down. Pyramid legs. So we're gonna pause, frame the front foot, maybe with fingertips or blocks. Lengthen the heart, draw your left hip back. Forehead toward the shin. Lengthen the torso forward. Draw your left hip back. Place weight in all four corners of both feet. Left arm up, revolved triangle. Hold forward again. Plank, side plank on the right, where you might have a tree leg. Plank, 
Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walk or hop to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Hold forward, exhale. Chair pose. Bring your left knee up, open it out. Tree. Left hand, left thigh, right hand reaches over to the left. Come to center, reach the left knee up. Fly it back, airplane to half moon for five breaths. Maybe sugar cane. Coming to revolved half moon, left hand down, left leg to hip height as much as possible, right arm lifts. Maybe bending the left knee, reaching back with the right hand for the left foot. And then frame the foot, bring the left foot down, pyramid legs. Lengthen the heart forward, draw the right hip back, and then forehead towards shin. We'll halfway lift, draw that right hip back, weight in all four corners of the feet. <clears throat> lift your right arm, revolve triangle. Frame the front foot, bow again. Plank, side plank on the left, maybe with a tree leg. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top and come down to a seat. Draw the right heel in toward the groin. Reach your right arm to the sky. Flex the left foot. Reach for the pinky toe edge side of the left foot and lengthen the torso, bow the head.
slowly coming up. <clears throat> Bring your left hand to your right knee. Twist, looking over your right shoulder, drawing your belly in and up. And then keep your body the way it is, but look over your left shoulder. Breathe into your left shoulder blade, kind of push into your hand with the right knee. Great, unwind, come back to center. And now we're going straight forward in Janu Shirshasana. So if you can reach your foot or your ankle or your Shin, great. Bow the head down. And do you have any awareness of how this might be different from when we did it at the beginning of class? Any subtle or significant change? And maybe the change isn't as much in your muscles as it is in your mind, just notice. Or maybe the constriction isn't as much in your muscles, but more in your mind. Notice that too. That's often my scenario. And then we'll come back up slowly. Switch sides. Straightening the right leg out, drawing the left heel in toward the groin. Lift your left arm, flex your right foot. We're reaching toward the pinky toe edge side of the foot. So you might not be able to reach that foot. That's no big deal. Maybe it's your outer calf shin. And then we'll lengthen the spine and bow the head toward the shin. And my ears will slowly come up and we'll reach our right hand for our left knee and twist. So left fingertips might come behind you. And then we're sitting up really tall, drawing the belly in. So it's an open twist, but then we'll look over our right shoulder and push the knee into the right hand. And maybe you feel the right shoulder blade. Great, we'll unwind, come back to center, both arms reach up, and then coming straight forward toward that right leg. And then we'll come back up and bring both legs out in front. And you can have legs together or you can have legs wider for extra room for your belly. We're coming forward into a Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. So we're going to slowly come back up and we're coming toward double pigeon. So bend your left knee and have your shin as parallel to the top of the mat as your body will let it go, right? Without force. So your knee and ankle might line up, they might not. And then the right ankle comes on top of the left knee 
The right knee comes on top of the left ankle. And so perhaps, like Conti, you just straighten the left leg, come back to what we were doing at the beginning of class, yeah, where the, it's a figure four. If this feels okay in your body, we're going to twist to the left. So that means perhaps the right forearm goes into the right foot and you push against it and breathe. And we'll come back to center. And there might be a, a smidge of a forward fold. And slowly come up and switch sides. Honoring what might feel different on this side. Maybe we'll twist to the right. Left forearm might be in that left foot. You kind of push against the foot, draw the belly in and breathe. And we'll come back to center, sit up nice and tall, and maybe there's a bit of a forward fold here. And we'll slowly sit up and bring our legs out in front. Come down onto our backs. Twisting to the right. So you might have a block or a bolster. We'll come back to center and slowly over to the left.
And then my dears, when you come back to center, when it feels time, perhaps a block underneath the sacrum for a supported bridge or the Karani, or maybe you would like to do shoulder stand, whatever feels useful in your body. And anytime you're ready to settle into Shavasana, please do so. And when we're ready, 
finding our way back to a seat. And bringing our palms to whatever shape they feel useful at the heart, bowing our heads, our wild minds to the majesty of our heart. In the spirit of peace, we say Shanti, Shalom, Salam, Amani, Maluhia, Irini, Shiakan, Jam, Pache, Pause. In the spirit of our collective truth and liberation, we say Ashe, Amin, Amen, Blessed be, Kapu Aloha, In Lakech, Satnam, Namaste. Matakwe Black Lives Matter. <laughs>